Hi, my name is Justin O'Connor. I'm an Australian student studying at the KDI School of Public Policy and Management. Hi, um, I'm Alita uh, and I am a student from El Salvador. I study currently at the KDI School of Public Policy and Management um, and I study public management. Hi, my name is Amanda and I'm from Indonesia. Um, I've been here only recently since January 2021 and I'm a KDI student. My name is uh, Socrates Luseka from Kenya. I've been in Sejong for the past one year and eight months. Named after the King Sejong, which is very famous. Sejong is uh, the father of Hangul and one of the most famous uh, Korean king. So I think the city was named after him. What I know is Seoul was a bit crowded, so the need for a regional balanced development within the country. Yeah, from what I've heard, it's like it got planned about 20 years ago. And yeah, it was to follow the housing crisis that um, Seoul was going through at the time. And so they decided that they wanted to have a brand new city. Oh, I didn't know that. Me too. Yeah. I didn't know that. I don't know where is it actually. No, I didn't know they had land for the um, assembly building in Sejong. Okay. No, I didn't know that either. Know that. No, no, no. Mm. Oh. oh. Really? Wow. Where was it? Okay. Ah, Central Park. I think we need that to makes visit. Sense. We need to visit. We need to visit it. Exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, really? really? Ah. Yeah. Jumbo Pong got to there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Oops. laughs> 길이 3.5km, 용이 승천하는 형태로 지어진 정부 세종청사입니다. 바로 옆 호수공원을 건너면 잡초만 무성한 광활한 땅이 눈에 띕니다. 16년 전 행정수도 이전 문의 당시 국회의사당 이전을 대비해 조성한 부지인데 지금까지 비어있는 겁니다. 세종 국회의사당 부지로 유력하게 검토되는 곳입니다. 50만 제곱미터 규모로 wow, 현재 서울 여의도 국회의사당보다 1.5배 정도 큽니다. 청와대와 사법부 이전에 대비해 준비한 땅도 400만 제곱미터에 wow, 이르는데 역시 mm, 같은 상태입니다. Okay. Yeah, 언제든지 네, 다시 this, 결정만 이루어지게 된다면 no 청와대도 this. 대법원도 국회도 다 내려올 수 있는 그런 넉넉한 여유 부지가 마련돼 있습니다. Yeah, that is yeah, a quite big land. Yeah, I think I think that'd totally be worth it because so many of the government departments have already moved down to Sejong. Yeah, I think well, since Sejong is built to be an administrative city, mm. I mean it would make sense for the National Assembly to be here and also would just bring an influx of people, which I think is something that Sejong really needs. I feel is a uh, the time right now uh, the fact that people know Sejong as an administrative capital, mm -hmm. the National Assembly and the Chongwade, it's, it's still in, in, in Seoul. Yeah, if yeah. all these are transferred to Sejong, it's going to bring this official confirmation mm -hmm. that this is actually the administrative capital. There are Malaysia, also Vietnam, the US, New Zealand probably. We have Nigeria, mm. where the commercial city is Lagos, but then the capital is in Abuja. Mm. And then we have Tanzania, which has the Dar es Salaam as the commercial city of the country, but then the capital is in Dodoma. I mean, if you look at the case in the U.S., you mm. have New York and you have D.C. Mm. And I think it's very beneficial to have those two as separate entities because D.C. can really focus on governing mm. and New York can focus on the financial background and the financial aspects of the country. Mm. And honestly, like, I think that that works really, really well. Oh, it's like in the mall. Yeah. yeah, it will it will cause a lot of an inefficiency. As a matter of fact, like 
they should have like many businesses to uh, do with the National Assembly. The number of hours spent on the road going to Seoul and coming back could be transformed into something meaningful. Exactly. Like yeah. it's like two hours. 이전이 본격 추진된다면 국회의사당은 아, 5년 안에 완공될 수 있다는 oh, 청사진도 good. 나왔습니다. Yeah. 20억 원의 설계비가 아, 마련돼 yes. 있는데요. 아, 속도를 높이기 위해서 내년도에 아, <웃음> 대규모로 진행을 한 다음에 그 yeah, 금액으로 국제 공모에 oh, 나설 yeah. 예정입니다. 그러나 여전한 yeah, 관습 really 헌법 판결 효력 we'll 또 야당과 out. 수도권 여론의 ah, 반발이 예상되는 so 상황에서 problem, yeah. 실현 여부는 아직 불투명합니다. 기대반 의구심 반수의 세종은 여의도의 논의를 지켜보고 있습니다. A lot of people hate changes, and the change is a is a big change. Like you relocate the National Assembly to one city to another, there will be controversy here and there. When you look back at that time when they were deciding where to set up a new capital. There was so much fighting going on, and it was a huge controversy. But then, looking back at it over 100 years, now it's just a part of everyday life. I think the same will become true of Sejong City too. The people is less informed, I mean, not well informed about what is the benefits of having this National Assembly relocated. So I think the people need to be like more, yeah, informed, more informed and, and yeah, and, um, about the benefits, so they understand that this is also for them. 세종시에 있는 한 부처 공무원들의 SNS 대화 내용입니다. Yeah. 국회 oh. 상임위장에서 대기 중이다. 저녁 때 회의를 yeah. 마치고 다시 세종에 내려가겠다고 적혀 있습니다. 대다수 행정 부처는 oh. 세종에, 국회는 서울에 있다 보니 세종시 공무원들은 3년간 국회 출장을 86만 oh, 번 see? 넘게 오고 출장비도 900억 원 넘게 썼습니다. Okay, okay, sure. 예산 처리라든가 국감 때라든가 뭐 이럴 때는 거의 아침에 보따리 싸고 올라가면 월요일 날 아침에 올라가면 금요일 날 내려오는 형국이고 yeah. yeah. 국회를 세종시로 옮기면 이른바 카톡 과장으로 oh, 대표되는 so 이런 업무 효율부터 yeah. 줄어들게 됩니다. Yeah. 국토 균형 발전 yeah. 차원에서도 yeah. 효과가 있을 것으로 기대됩니다. To be honest, that's such a waste of money. Yeah. That's really such a waste of money, yeah. Too much. It's too much. The time that they take to travel from Seoul to Sejong, mm. like, they could also be using it, for example, in work, for work time. Mm. This needs to be addressed, like, as soon as possible. I will be... I would be mad or angry because every time I have to do something, I have to like travel for two or more hours. Um, I think that mainly like, not only would I feel frustration, but I would also feel that I myself am not doing enough like that. I would feel inefficient in mm -hmm. my work because all this travel time is cutting into the work that I could be doing and helping people. Mm. <laughs> 한국행정연구원 oh, 연구에 따르면 국회를 세종시로 세정. 완전히 이전하면 국회 공무원 5천여 명이 oh, 세종시로 yeah. 이동하게 yeah. 되고 그 파급 yeah. 효과로 수도원 인구 약 7만 2천 명이 각각 충청권으로는 5만 3천여 yeah, that's a, that's a 명, 영호남권으로는 1만 oh. 천명 정도가 mm. 이동할 yeah. 것으로 yeah. 추산됐습니다. Having half of the population of Korea in one province is actually overwhelming. Yeah. Like they will cause they would cause a lot of problems. I can see that it's still a priority to kind of spread out the population, spread out the services and the development, so. I hope that Korea does end up getting that more balance. Mm -hmm. From my time here in Korea, I've traveled to other like provinces and each province to me has like its own mm -hmm. charm, its own difference, like yeah. each region has like a special. Although, um, Certainly, um, government decentralization has been a big thing. So, in a similar way to moving to Sejong, taking some of the departments out of the capitals and moving them to maybe more rural areas or country areas. Even in my country, we are actually constructing a new city. We are following Korea's model in a way it's to ease uh, the overpopulation, exactly overpopulation and 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 the administrative pressure mm -hmm. and commercial pressure. Uh, from the capital. 물론 국회를 세종시로 옮기려면 청사부터 새로 지어야 합니다. Yeah, 부지 매입에 4,200억 원. 여기에 11개 상임위만 oh, 옮겨도 wow. 7,500억 원 정도 들고 본회의장까지 국회를 통째로 옮기면 9,600억 원 넘게 필요합니다. 
That's a lot of infrastructure. 그런데 국회를 이전하면 yeah. 늘어나는 지역 총생산 가치는 5조 7천억 so, 원 남짓. 균형 발전의 효과가 이전 well, 비용보다 okay. 6배 It's 많은 cool. 셈입니다. Balance development six times. Mm-hmm. 청와대나 사법부까지 옮긴다면 비용도 훨씬 커질 겁니다. 17년 yeah. 전 노무현 정부는 모두 45조 6천억이 들 거라고 발표했었고 well, 광역교통과 60. 거주시설까지 마련하려면 103조 oh, 원 man. 넘게 필요하다는 예측도 one. 있습니다. 전문가들은 수도권 집중이 완화돼 국토 전체가 골고루 발전했을 때 얻게 될 효과는 단순히 단기의 비용을 따져 결정할 문제가 아니라고 말하는데요. Personally, I want to say like, oh, like they should build the building because the benefits to me personally outweigh like the cost. Oh, look, when you look at those figures, they're huge, huge cost. Yeah, as in in the short term, to invest like a hundred trillion won, but in the long term, get more benefits. So it's like a worthy investment, I think. If we just focus on the costs, it will never happen. The overpopulation brings much more issues. And then with those issues, the costs are going up. Mm -hmm. So if we address that in the long run, it's going to be of benefit. If you look at the National Assembly itself in Seoul, It's sort of a landmark. If you have uh, a building of such magnitude here in in, uh, Sejong, it's going to have the same same impact. I picture if the National Assembly were to come to Sejong, Sejong would become similar to like Washington, D.C. Everybody that's around there like works for the government, right? So like the conversations that are happening are all talking about policy making and like just being able to have like that atmosphere. having like that framework and having that set up ready for people to move into Sejong. Sejong is like so young. You need more social amenities to yeah. meet these. Exactly. You need more schools, you need more hospitals. Exactly, and probably more public transportations uh, make the people yeah. move better, yeah.